This is the installation video for the Levelock Quick Connect Ladder Leveler on a Werner 6200 series Type 1A 300 pound duty rated step ladder. Mark the center line by dividing the outside rail width in half and marking two points. You can use a straight edge to draw the center line between these points. The first mark is made at the top edge of the first ladder step. It is located when facing the front climbing side of the ladder and then continue that mark on the outside of the ladder rail. Measure three inches down from this intersection of the center line. Please note that this mark is very important. It represents the lowest mounting bolt hole and is the official reference point for the remaining two holes that will be drilled into the ladder rails for proper mounting. Use the base unit as a template to mark the rail. There are four holes on the base unit. The second hole closest to the shoe is the starting reference point for aligning the template. The hole closest to the shoe is not used in this installation. Drill an initial 1 8 of an inch pilot hole at each of the marks and then enlarge those holes with an 11 seconds bit and clean the surface of the drilled holes. There is a left side and a right side to the base unit. The left side has an L on it and the right side has an R on it. The right side base unit should be installed on the right side of the ladder when standing in front of either the climbing side of the ladder or the non-climbing side of the ladder. Install the base unit with the three long bolts, three round fender washers, and the three lock nuts provided. Use the supplied Allen wrench and a socket to fasten the base unit to the rail. Locate the top of the first ladder rung on the non-climbing side of the ladder with a T-square and then continue that mark on the outside of the ladder rail. Mark the center line by dividing the outside rail width in half and marking two points. You can use a straight edge to draw the center line between these points. Measure 2 and 3 8 inches down from this intersection of the center line and the line marking the top of the lowest ladder rung. Use the base unit as a template to mark the rail. There are four holes on the base unit. The second hole closest to the shoe is the starting reference point for aligning the template. The hole closest to the shoe is not used in this installation. Drill an initial 1 8 of an inch pilot hole at each of the marks and then enlarge those holes with an 11 seconds bit and clean the surface of the drilled holes. Install the base unit with the three long bolts, three round fender washers, and the three lock nuts provided. Use the supplied Allen wrench and a socket to fasten the base unit to the rail. After the base unit is installed with all fasteners, washers, and nuts attached properly, it is important to test the assembly. To do so, line up the three mounting knobs on the rear of the leveler. Insert into the three keyholes and slide the leveler upward to snap lock into position. Then, insert the detent pin that is attached to the lanyard. Next, test the leveler function by snapping the lower curved foot pedal down into the ready position. Extend the inner leg 5 or 6 inches and then retract the inner leg by activating the release lever near the top. Please note that all level lock ladder levelers have an automatic backup safety lock so if there is any pressure on the leveler shoe, the release lever will be restricted in its movement. This safety feature is designed for your safety, and it is important that the leveler shoe remains somewhat loose on the shoe bolt, just as it is when you first receive the product. Install the second key locked base unit on the opposite rail by following the same directions. Please note that the installation instructions for the climbing and non-climbing sides of the ladder are slightly different. Please make sure that you use the correct mounting measurements for each side of the ladder.